It's time now for the latest in local sports and sports. The Atlanta Braves, even their series with the Philadelphia Phillies Wednesday night. The Braves get that primetime game after all, thanks to a three-hour rain delay in Atlanta. But once it started, Braves 20-game winner Kyle Wright, the only 20-game winner in baseball this year, totally shut down the Phillies, and the Braves bullpen keeps the shutout alive. Atlanta wins last night 3-0, sends the series back to Philadelphia against the best three out of five series, tied 1-1, games three and four this Friday and Saturday in Philadelphia. If game five is needed, the teams come back to Atlanta for around a 4.07 start time on Sunday. And game five would be in Atlanta. Games three and four in Philadelphia. Again, it's the best three out of five is tied 1-1. Other National League series also tied 1-1 as San Diego Padres defeat LA last night 5-3. That series also takes the day off, heads back to San Diego for Friday and Saturday's games. Today, the American League playoffs take center stage. Game two of the Seattle-Houston series in Houston. Astros up one game to none. First pitch today at 3.30. And the Yankees host Cleveland Indians game two tonight, 7.30. Yankees lead that series one game to none. Wayne County's high school football team hosting New Hampstead this Friday night at 7.30 at J.C. Stadium. Both teams 1-0 in region play. Both teams 5-1 and on the season. Our coverage begins tomorrow night with the Wayne County Coaches Show. Here's a portion of that show in which head football coach J. Bo Shaw says New Hampstead loves to throw the ball and they love to throw it deep. He says our defense will be tested Friday night. So, you know, the, the best pass coverage is a really good defensive line who can get after the quarterback. And, you know, for, for the most part, you know, we hadn't seen a true, true drop back team. Um, now, Bridewell gave us some stuff. If you go back to that uh, game, you know, we saw some true drop back passes. Um, you know, so I think we've gotten a lot better since that Bradwell, um, Bradwell game uh, in the past game. And I'm just I, I'm proud of our two corners and safeties and the outside linebackers, uh, how we've developed in the past game. And we certainly will be tested tonight. And like I said earlier, we need to create some pressure on this quarterback uh, where we don't have to necessarily blitz all the time and blitz, our, blitz ourselves out of looks. Um, just to get pressure on the quarterback, we need to be able to just, you know, create some pressure opportunities out of a three-man or a four-man front and not necessarily have to bring more people uh, than we have to, and then we can keep them back there on the back end and doing what their job is. So, you know, we've got a great, great challenge ahead. They're going to be well coached on offense, and uh, the quarterback's certainly a good player. So we've, we've got our hands full, but we need, uh, we need our defense to uh, – to be the defense they've been and continuing to play uh, violently when they arrive and, and uh, playing with great effort and uh, intensity. And once again, those comments, Coach Jay Bush, you can hear all his comments tomorrow night on the Wayne County Coaches Show. Again, that leads into our pregame show at 7 p.m. tomorrow night from the stadium kickoff tomorrow night, 7.30. Again, a huge game in the region play, Wayne County, New Hampstead. Again, both teams 1-0, both teams Five and one on the season. Tickets for the game available today and Friday at the school during lunch hour. Tickets available all week at Sheffield's Trophies and Sports Shop, and you can purchase tickets on GoFan.com. Other games in the area: Friday, Applin's going to be at Windsor Forest, Ware County at Bradwell, Brantley at Vidalia, Camden is at Colquitt, Coffee hosts Statesburg, Glen Academy hosts Grove Time, Jeff Davis at Fitzgerald, Pierce hosts Tombs, Richmond Hill at Valdosta, Long County has the weekend off. Again, a reminder, in case you missed yesterday, after multiple attempts to reschedule the football game against Burke, postponed to the hurricane, GHSA has finally approved the following changes. Wayne County's game against Southeast Bullock at Southeast Bullock has been moved to Thursday, October 27th, not Friday, October 28th. And again, the Burke County game has been moved to Halloween night, Monday, October 31st, here at home at J.C. Stadium at 7 p.m. So, again, rescheduling games is based on approval from GHSA. Our athletic director and head football coach said the region suggested several other options involving all teams involved, but all were denied by the GHSA. And the only thing GHSA, GHSA would approve is October 27th, the Southeast Bullock at 7, October 31st against Bird County, also at 7 o'clock. So keep in mind they're originally scheduled at 7.30, but those kickoffs on the 27th and 31st will be at 7 p.m. Region championship on the line today at the Barber Circle softball field as the Lady Jackets can win the region outright with a win today against the Islands High School. Game time is 5.30. With the win, the Lady Jackets are in the right to host the Super Regional and host three other teams across the state next Tuesday and Wednesday in Class 4A with the winner of that event going straight to Columbus to compete for a state championship. We encourage everyone to come out today support the Lady Yellow Jackets. Game time 5.30. 
All the action right here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. Our pregame show this afternoon at 520. Again, first pitch at 530. The volleyball teams close out their regular seasons on Wednesday over in Baxley, Georgia, taking on Appling County. JV team won their match 2-1, but the varsity girls were defeated by Appling County by a score of 3-1. This Saturday begins the region tournament for the Lady Volleyball team. They will be in Savannah at New Hampstead Saturday morning, their first match at 10 a.m. Again, double elimination event, trying to advance to state. We wish Coach Hobbs and the girls volleyball team the best of luck this Saturday in that region event. Saturday's college football schedule has the Georgia Bulldogs back in Athens for another 3.30 kickoff. They'll be taking on Vanderbilt. Georgia Southern home this Saturday. They host James Madison, who just came into the top 25 in the Associated Press. They're ranked 25th in the country. They're 5-0. and Eagles at 3-3. Three and three. And we'll have that game Saturday for you here on Big Dog Country. FM 105.5 is a 4 p.m. kickoff. Georgia Tech has a Saturday off, but they'll be at home next Thursday, October 20th. They host the Virginia Cavaliers on Thursday night next week. Some big games Saturday, including the SEC's undefeated Alabama traveling to undefeated Knoxville to take on the Tennessee Volunteers. That's the 3:30 CBS game. Other games have Penn State at Michigan, Auburn at Ole Miss, Oklahoma State at TCU, Arkansas at BYU, LSU's down in the swamp taking on the Gators, Clemson at FSU, Stanford at Notre Dame, and Mississippi State will be at Kentucky. Finally, a reminder again, the Southeast Georgia Turkey Trot 5K Run and Walk is scheduled for November 12th at J.C. Stadium. Registration will open that day of the race at 7 a.m. with race beginning at 8 a.m. Registration costs $25 per person if payment is received by November 3rd. Cost is $30 after November 3rd in the day of the race. Group team registration also available for groups of 10 runners or more at $20 per person. Teams must be prepaid by November 3rd to receive the discount, and team rushers must be mailed with payment to Wayne County High School. Forms can be picked up at Wayne County High School and printed from the school system's website. Participants can also register through active.com. If you need more information, contact Judy Beaver at the high school, 427-1096, extension 729. And proceeds from this event go to Wayne County High School's work-based learning program and donated food items will benefit the Good Samaritan Center. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports. 